Hello everyone, it's Fee Wallace here and I have just received my Yours Loves CND stamping plate. I've been seeing pictures of it, I've been getting myself all excited and it has just arrived in my office uh, yesterday. So I've been playing with it um, and I was just dying to jump onto my camera and do a quick um, quick little video with a few techniques using this stamping plate. So this stamping plate has been designed with the inspiration as New York Fashion Week eh, Spring Summer 17. So we've got some really cool different um, like quite wacky um, images here. Some of them very useful, some of them you might not use as often eh, for sure but they're still cool to have. So I just want to show you the three eh, designs that I have loved most um, in the time that I've had to play around with this. So I'm going to use shellac and I'm going to stamp with creative play eh, and I'm also going to use some Lysenti neon powders as well. Oh, I'll be using the new Yours Cosmetics Halo Stamper as well. So the colours I'm going to use eh, today are shellac jelly bracelet, indigo frock and wisteria haze and I have just cured two, uh, two layers of each, two colour coats of each. So there's our indigo frock. Now I'm going to use, this is quite a simple one but it's extremely effective, I'm going to use creative play, let's go antiquing and polish my act and we're going to use this little slice of a pattern up at the top here. I am going to blend these two colours together actually. So let's take a drop first of all of our gold. Oh, lovely camera, sorry about that. Getting a bit excited. Drop of gold, drop of silver. And now using the scraper card, I'm just going to blend these guys together by scraping once, twice, three times. That's plenty. Now on with the Halo Stamper, which I have scrub freshed to prepare it. Super. There we go. That's what we're after. Here's our nail. So I'm going to try and hold this to make it as much like a human being as possible. Oh. And I've also given this just a few seconds to dry because what I don't want is wet nail polish eh, all over my client's skin or indeed the plastic of the colour pop here. I always prefer to use dry nail polish on the stamper, that is allow it to dry while it's on the stamper before stamping it on to shellac because shellac has a sticky top film and that um, dry creative play polish will stick much better to that than it would to, um, than it would if it was still wet. Okay, sorry guys I'm rambling a little bit, I got distracted there, okay. I'm going to get this just where I want it and we will place that right down on there over our indigo frock. Oh, superb. And I just love that. Now, okay, there are a couple of little imperfections there. Do you see where it maybe didn't quite lift you'll have seen it a mile off especially if you're watching this on a big hd tv um but i if that was a client one of my clients who i charge a fortune to i would still be more than happy to go with that um i think it looks fabulous i think the imperfections add to it so there you go that would now be ready uh, to be finished with shellac taco so we'll do that in a second and it's ready to go straight away with the top coat because of course the polish is dry already. So next up 
I'm going to use this little palm tree and this little flamingo, um, which while it may be a little cheesy, it's a fabulous summer holiday type look. And I'm going to apply this over jelly bracelet, the shellac colour. Now I did uh, just prepare, just cleaned my sample plate with scrub fresh, for those of you who are wondering. Right, so there we go, there's Jelly Bracelet, which is very fabulous and holiday-like on its own. Um, I found that really, really popular coming into uh, the summer season this year. So next up, I am going to get some black and forth, so that's the Creative Play uh, black, onto my Halo Stamper. Brushing that on there. There we go, ready to go. Really rolling gently, folks. Those of you that were having trouble with it not picking up properly with the halo stamper, it's almost always down to the fact that you're leaning too heavily. Um, we demonstrated that at great length in a previous video. There we go, that looks great, if I do say so myself. So now I have my jelly bracelet, which I just touched with my finger, so we have a slight dent in it. I'm not too worried, it is cured, and the top coat will be going on, so that's cool. Now, let's line this guy up. So I'm gonna put him at a little bit of an angle, so that we kinda get that line at the top left and the bottom right. Okay, on we go. Oh, superb. <laughs> he looks fab. He looks fab. Now these little bits at the side, this is obviously dry polish. On, um, on a client that's even easier to get rid of, I would just be using a little, uh, a little dry brush actually. I wouldn't do it with my fingers generally on a human being. Okay. So next up, I'm going to apply a little bit of Lucente Neon just to make this even more vibrant. I think it looks pretty cool as it is, but I just want to add in a little bit of pink. Um, so I'm going to use Snake Bite. And I want to make um, a bit, a little bit orangey, a bit, a bit more vibrant. So I'm going to use graffiti um, over this orange background. I've got my Lacente G1 brush. Would not be without it for this kind of thing. So here's the graffiti, and here is the snake bite. Okay, that's going to be plenty for both. I'm going to start in the top left corner with a bit of snake bite. Now what's in that lid should be enough. I might pick another little bit up out the tub if I need it, but actually no, that's more than enough, that'll do. So I just want to create a little bit of a fade here, nothing too outrageous. It's already quite a vibrant background colour, I just want to make it just that little bit more vibrant and that's just uh, adhering nicely to the sticky top film um, of the cured shellac colour layer in the background. I've given my brush a little clean off on a dry fabric towel off to the side there. Can't fit everything under the camera I suppose and now a little bit of this graffiti in the other corner. I'm just pressing that on. I'm going to give the brush a clean off and give that a good blend in. And the design is beautifully stuck to the shellac in the background, so I'm using quite a bit of uh, pressure here. And all it's doing is making the colours blend better. This is my number one favourite way to create an ombre. Uh, blending pigments together on top of shellac. There we go. 
fantastic. Now I'm going to go straight ahead. Uh, oh, nice. Just made that worse rather than better. I'm going to go straight ahead and apply top coat right now so you can see the difference that makes. Now I'm going to use original top coat for this for no other reason than, well, honestly, original top coat is probably the top coat I use at uh, least on my actual clients um, because I love Express 5 for my uh, clients whose nails are in really good condition and I love Duraforce for my clients whose nails are not in such good condition. So I probably use a little bit less original these days. So I'm going to use that on my colour prop. I think many people uh, feel that original top coat gives them um, a better finish with Lysenti chromes, for example. Um, so that would be a good reason to use original as well. Okay, and I just applied top coat here so we could really see how cool and vibrant that looks. I love it. Amazing. Okay, next up, we are going to move the neon bit of the card out of the camera. There we go. And now I'm going to use Wisteria Haze, which is one of my favourite shellac colours of all time. Just think it looks so fabulous. Um, maybe not on every skin tone, but oh, on a lot of them. Um, and it's a beautiful, I just find it such a beautiful colour for nail art. It's probably just my own personal preference, really. I don't think I can justify it by any other means other than I personally love it. Uh, and therefore my clients do they all do what I tell them. Okay. So for this nail, I'm going to use part of the design here. Um, now, some of the designs on here, the areas are a little bit uh, smaller. So for example, this, which I love over here, um, is this going to fit all over all 10 nails? Well, probably not if they're huge, big, long pointy numbers um, so maybe that wouldn't be the one uh, to choose for all 10 nails on nails like that it's going to fit really nicely on shorter nails um, for those big nails this area here where we've got this um, these diagonal squares merging into this leopard print looks amazing and we've got a good wide area of that as well which is cool Okay, so I've given that a clean. I have given my Halo Stamper a clean again with Scrub Fresh, like I always do, guys. That's my, my preference. I've got the Scrub Fresh out anyway to clean the plate and clean the scraper card, so I might as well clean the stamper with it as well, seeing as I've already pumped it onto the pad and it does it so well and leaves it you know, nice and tacky for the next pickup. It's just my personal preference. So let's get some. I blanked out, so that's the white, and I think I'm also going to use a little bit um, of a lilac -y story, uh, which is a creative play colour, uh, which is a good deal warmer than Wisteria Haze, but it's still that kind of lilac -y purpley with a lot of white in it. blob of that there. Probably a bit more than we needed but I'm not going to worry about it. And some of our eye blanked out. Now this eye blanked out is quite new so that means that it's got a little bit of a thinner viscosity than it would if it was an old thick bottle that I had. So I'm just going to give it a few seconds for uh, some of the solvents to evaporate out of that before I scrape over with my scraper card. It's just going to give us a slightly more opaque result. So, that'll do. Oh, try not to knock everything over as well. Nice light roll is going to give you the best pickup possible. There we go. That looks great. If I do say so myself, very happy with that indeed. Okay, just cleaning my plate, 
Um, let's get this on. So I'm going to stamp this on and then I'm also going to use again a little bit of neon because it's that time of year where the neons come out and they look fabulous. Okay, so I'm just deciding where I want this to lie, how I want my design to look. Okay, and of course that's what the Halo Stamper is so awesome for. Okay, cool. That's pretty cool. That is cool. Again, on a client, I would be using a nice firm dry brush to do this. On a colour pop, I'm using my fingers. Now, I've got gloves on, it's alright. Right, there we go. That'll do. Okay. So that looks cool. I like the, the ombre between. Um, the white and the purple there. I think it looks pretty, uh, pretty vibrant and cool. But what I'm going to do now is get some more of that sneak bite, uh, the Lucente neon pigment, and I'm going to get a little bit more of that. Oh, you can hear the planes going over. We are very near the airport here. start down here and this is going to make that um, a more lilac-y colour show up even more and look kind of neon in itself. Ooh. So I'm kind of doing another ombre, sort of following the ombre that was there already, like between the two creative play colours. That's fabulous. Mm, that's cool. That looks even cooler than when I tried it before. Right, I've cleaned the brush off on a dry fabric towel and I'm giving it a good rub just to make sure it's blended in nicely to the background colour, the Wisteria Haze there. Mm, that's fabulous. Okay, so now it's time for top coat. So I'm going to top coat this guy and the original one. Um, I'm going to pause the video and come back to show you the final result. Okay, so our top coat is cured. Uh, so here are our three hot summer designs. So this being the most conventionally summer, I would say. Um, absolutely love it with shellac jelly bracelet and stamping using creative clay. And then some Lucente neon powders as well just to brighten that up. Then this, which I guess is like anti-summer for all our goths in the sun. Um, I just love that. That sort of slash of the pattern down the center with the two uh, margins of just plain color in the background. I think it creates an extremely slimming, flattering effect, especially on short square nails. I think it's very opulent with the gold and the silver blending together. And like I said while I was creating it, these couple of little imperfections in the stamp were absolutely caused by me leaning too hard. It was my first stamp of the day and I definitely went too hard with the stamper, but I decided to go with it because I think that those slight imperfections actually add to the design. Um, there'd be no way on a paying client that I would be removing that and starting again. Um, I think it's definitely part of it. I think it's great. Okay, then this one, which I think is my favourite of the three. I started with Shellac Wisteria Haze and stamped using Creative Play. I blanked out and a lilac -y story. And then we added some fabulous um, Lucente, the bright pink neon powder it's called snake bite and it just looks so vibrant next to that lilac i absolutely love it uh, very simple to do using the technique of course of stamping first then applying um additives pigments or glitter uh, so that what you're applying only sticks to the sticky background but not to the dry polish okay well i hope you enjoyed this I am going to continue playing with this stamping plate um, and I can't wait to just go wild with it. <laughs> so 
I've enjoyed this. Hope you have too. See you later.